Hi everybody, uh, welcome back. We're going to be doing a training video today on how to uh, make a waterproof uh, short arm cast. It's actually going to be a two part video. Uh, the first part will be how to apply the, the cast um, and some different tricks with that. And then the second part of the video, the continuation will be how to properly remove the cast. Uh, we'll be using the following and some uh, Gore-Tex liner. Um, the brand is Aquacast. Uh, we're, it's, I'm not loyal to that product, but um, uh, fiberglass safety tape, which we will talk about, uh, versus uh, the the uh, zip sticks, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, you guys. So what we're gonna do? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start up. Pretty basic stuff, uh, polyurethane Gore-Tex. Uh, looks, sounds, and feels like bubble wrap. It has two surfaces. It has a sticky side and it has a smooth side. The smooth side is the side that goes against the skin. The obvious reason being that the sticky side helps the next turn adhere to itself, like so. So you can let go and it'll stick to itself. You overlap it halfway every time. You don't have to pull it super, super tight. Unlike the cotton, there will be some ripples along the way and it doesn't have to lay completely perfectly flat as long as you overlap halfway every time. Like I said, you'll see some little ripples here and there and that's okay. And since it's a short arm, we'll stop here just like so. And I'll go ahead and trim that. And I'll address the hand as well. On the hand, I've, what I've done is I've cut the, the roll half in half so that we can work around the, the smaller parts of the hand a little bit easier. I'll have the patient turn their hand a little bit sideways and lift their thumb. And as we come around, we'll be able to maneuver on both sides of the thumb with the, the smaller piece here, just like so. And then we'll re like we do with the cotton, we'll reinforce all of the edges. And then we'll talk about the next step in just one sec. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the safety tape, which usually comes like this. The safety tape is placed between the padding and the fiberglass so that when you go to remove the cast using the cast saw, you don't accidentally uh, for those that don't, are not very well versed with the cast saw, this gives you a little extra safety barrier. And there's two ways to end this padding. You can either extend the padding and fold it over on top of the edge of the safety tape, or you can take your strip and you can reinforce the edge one to two times to create that little bumper effect. I like this way preferably because when they come back, you can take a peek in here and you can see where the safety tape is and that way you know where to cut. The, the folding over method, it's a little bit more challenging. You have to kind of kind of discover where that safety tape is. There we go. Same thing, we'll reinforce this so that we catch the edge of the tape. One time there, I'll come around the thumb on the inside and on the outside just to give a little extra bumper there. You can do this one time or two times depending on how active your patient or the, the child is. Just kind of let it stick to itself. And then the next thing we do before I make the cast, before I put the fiberglass on, I'm gonna do the little demo that I do for the parents uh, to show them how exactly this is waterproof. So what, you'll, what I usually do when I have a parent in the room and they ask, how is the cast waterproof? I demonstrate to them how the water literally bounces off the Gore-Tex or if you're in the shower and you're holding your arm up in the shower, the water basically passes right through the channels. And that's what makes it waterproof. The outside's fiberglass, just like any other cast. But then what you do is you turn the shower off, you keep the extremity inside the tub and you shake it for about three to five minutes. And the best example of this, as I come back over towards the patient, I'll show you. I do this demo right in front of them where if you tap the water out for just anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute, you'll see 
how quickly it dries right in front of the patient. And this right here is pretty self-explanatory about what makes the cast waterproof. And that is how the Gore-Tex works. So typically what we'll do is we'll have the patient raise their arm in the shower, rinse it out, and then put their arm down inside the tub, shake it for about three to five minutes. And if need be, we have them blow cool air through the end or through the back end with a hair dryer, but cool air only if they need to, if the shaking doesn't suffice. So when we go to put the fiberglass on the Gore-Tex, everything is really, really similar to how we would make a standard short arm cast. Uh, very important to make sure to leave borders on this one because what's gonna happen as the, as the Gore-Tex gets wet, it'll flare back a little bit, it'll get kind of bunched up. And if, especially if they're, if they're using it for like swimming pool use, it'll, the, the chlorine, if they're going in the pool on a daily basis, believe it or not, the chlorine will eventually start to eat away at the Gore-Tex. Um, so you wanna make sure that you wanna leave at least one row, one row, excuse me, of, I guess, I guess you'd call them little cells on all the edges, try to leave at least one row of cells as a buffer. So planning on the fact that, you know, wear and tear and water and, you know, the breakdown and all that business. So you lay it on there, nice and comfortable, doesn't have to be tight. This part from all the previous videos you've watched on our channel, this should be pretty self-explanatory. You'll see, like I said, you're gonna leave a legend. The other reason for leaving a little, a nice row of cells there is because you can peel back to see where you left your safety tape underneath. So this is the first layer. We'll stop there for just a moment. And because this is an adult size arm, we'll go ahead and do two, two uh, rolls of fiberglass to make it nice and sturdy. And then this will be the end of the first part of the video. The second part of the video, which will be immediately after this one, will be how to remove this properly and different tricks regarding the cast saw on Gore-Tex versus cotton. So we'll finish up with this and we'll move on to the second part of the video. If, if the part that the removing part of the cast is more important to you, you can skip right to that one since if you already know how to do this. And we'll wrap it up here and I will see you on part two of this video.